I'm real glad that's supernatural. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to After Advent Season. Look at this lone advent calendar hanging up there in the back. Don't worry, it does have a buddy on the floor over there. We're, we're so close, we're so close. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing an advent calendar that was very mysterious to me when I first got it. It arrived at my house. That's still a little bit of a mystery. Did it come to my house? Anywho, I opened this somehow at my house and I was like, I have no recollection, no memory of purchasing this advent calendar, which you know, sometimes that happens and I end up buying like two of the same advent calendar, but at least I remember purchasing minimum one of them. But this little fella over here, I had no idea where it came from. So when I made that video telling you guys all the advent calendars we're gonna be unboxing this year, well, <laughs> for two years, um, this one, I truly and honestly had no idea where it came from, but I did see a comment from one of you guys saying that you actually sent me this advent calendar, which is so incredibly sweet, so incredibly kind. Thank you so very much. Now, I knew nothing about this brand, this advent calendar, anything when I first got it. This is from Yves Rocher. But I did a little research on this brand and this advent calendar. Uh, here are my notes from a piece of wet and wild advent calendar packaging. This is a French skincare and cosmetics company. I think they said it was started in like maybe 1965 or something like that. It's supposed to be natural and eco-friendly. This advent calendar is the 24 days of magic and wonder. It's supposed to have best selling and new items inside of it. It was $69, which that's too expensive. Don't send me, that's too expensive. But thank you, that's so sweet, but that's too expensive. And it has over a 150 dollar value and I've seen a lot of comments in the comment section, <laughs> you know, typically where comments live, saying that people think this is a really good brand. So I've never experienced anything from this brand before, but I'm really excited to get on into this and see what's in here. I do love this packaging. The florals and the botanicals on the front of it with a little bit of that like gold leafing. I think that's really, really pretty. Oh, cute! I love the inside of this. This is so pretty. I am a huge fan of vintage botanical prints and that's like, th that's the vibe that I'm getting from this. I really love it. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, super excited. This is a brand I don't think I've ever experienced before and I've encountered that we've never done. So this is very new and exciting. So let's go ahead and get on to it. Day number one. Oh, the packaging I think is gonna be super cute. I hope this light isn't too bright. I've been struggling a lot with my lighting recently, so I hope it's not blurring everything out. This is a hand cream in the scent Frozen Lychee. Ooh, oh, that smells good. I have no idea what a lychee smells like. Oh, it's like a nice berry scent. It's definitely a scent that I've smelled before, like something very familiar to me, but I can't quite put my finger on it, but it smells really good. Just like a nice kind of sweet berry. Ooh, I like that. That smells really good. Moving along here to day number two, it's saying that all these ingredients are like 98% natural ingredients. So that's really nice, responsible sourcing. All that sounds really wonderful. All right, next up in here we have, oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a hair care item. I wasn't expecting hair care in here for some reason, but this is a botanical balm, a leave-in repair cream for dry and damaged hair. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It's silicone free and I'm not really seeing too much other information that is in a language I can read, unfortunately. I would love to be able to speak French or something else. That would be fantastic, but I, 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 I can't. <laughs> I can't currently. I, I'm sure you guys are fairly aware of that by how often I, I butcher other, you know, beautiful languages. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing any other information or anything about it besides it's silicone free, 90% natural ingredients. It doesn't say if it's for like thin hair, thick hair, all hair types, if it's color safe, anything like that. But oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that they also made hair care stuff. That just has a really light scent to it, nothing too um, overpowering or anything. So yeah, hair care item. Three is up next here. Ooh, this bottle looks really fun. It's very bright and vibrant. This is a Regenerate Balm Mask with organic marigold. That's super interesting. I'm not quite sure if I've ever seen a skincare item made with marigold before. Let's give this a sniff too. I thought this might smell super floral. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think my mom had marigolds like all the time in the yard when I was growing up. And I feel like they had a decently strong scent to them, but this one doesn't smell very strong whatsoever. It's almost more of like a powdery kind of scent, uh, but it says for us to apply a thin layer on face two times, oh, a week. Okay, two times a week, leave on for 10 minutes and then remove with a cotton pad. So just a little mask, we'll just use a couple of times a week, but I just, the packaging I think is really cute and fun. I like so far that even though these are all just little squeezy tubes of creams, we have like a hand cream, a hair hair mask, a face mask, so at least they are different tubes of cream. I think that's really nice. Four is up next. This one's kind of hefty. Ooh, okay, so now we have a little bottle. Oat and buckwheat. Ew, it is a comforting bath and shower gel, so it has oat and buckwheat in it. I've never had a buckwheat. 
I don't know precisely <laughs> what a buckwheat is, but I feel like it's some type of grain <laughs> or a cereal, like an oatmeal or something that you can eat. I personally have never done that. Oh, it, yeah. It does smell, it does have that kind of, uh, you know, grain-ish scent to it, but it also smells kind of good. Like it has that relaxing, like I feel like you know that this is going to moisturize and soothe your skin. It has that kind of scent to it, like an oatmeal, milk, and honey kind of scent. A little less sweet than that though. Maybe just stop at the oat and the milk part. Ooh, okay, five is up next here in a skinny little door. I wonder what this could be. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> It's an inadvertent little baby, that's what it is. I was picturing maybe like a thin like chapstick or something or a lip product, but instead we have a tiny little guy here. This is a 48 hour non-stop hydration gel cream and it is quite tiny, quite itty bitty. Again, not seeing too much more information. There are some words on the outside of here. No, that's not telling us much. I, I think it looks like it says on here, maybe it's just to put this on twice a day, which because this is so little, it's 0.23 fluid ounces, you might not get a ton of uses out of this and you might not be able to see how well it hydrates over like a long period of time but you know if like 48 hours non-stop that's that's a long time to go non-stop do you have a smell potentially i don't know can't really, i can't really sniff it too good day at number six is up next here a bigger box but it feels like there might be a small item oh it's a tube this is also a fun looking tube absolutely no information oh <laughs> it's on the bottom okay so the next up here we have a tube a very interestingly good idea what are the what words I'm looking for here. What are the, I'm looking for the words to describe this tube. Yeah, it's got some patterns on it. It's got some colors and patterns, a bit abstract. It's a very abstract looking tube. And then on the bottom it says 05 Matte Rouge Elixir. So I'm assuming we're looking at a lipstick here. A rouge elixir. That sounds really nice. <clears throat> oh baby. Oh, that has a really nice lipstick scent to it. Oh, there's something about that. Oh, I like that. It doesn't smell like vanilla or sweet or candy or anything like that. It smells like lipstick. I don't know how to describe it. It just has the scent. Mm, a little bit like wax. I don't know. For some reason to me that smells nice. But it's also in a quite intense shade. This looks like it would be a very orangey, very prominent <laughs> red lipstick. Uh, I personally, this is a bit too vibrant for me. Not so much my favorite color, but uh, a very interesting little tube. And I do like that we're actually getting a makeup product in here. I kind of assumed we would be getting mainly skincare in here, skincare, body care, bath stuff, that kind of thing. But it's nice to see an actual cosmetic product in here. I would say we might not get many more in here, but who knows? I know I know very little about this brand. So let's go ahead and keep exploring. Moving along here. Day number seven, a cocooning moment. Interesting. <laughs> a cocooning moment with an ultra comforting shower and a gentle scent of almonds. Ooh, cocooning. Oh, I like this packaging. Oh, I think that's pretty. I love the shade of green. And again, this kind of botanically looking prints I think are really pretty. This is a Shea and Soft Almonds Ultra Rich Shower. It doesn't necessarily say precisely what it is. It says just shower. It doesn't say shower gel, shower. I don't know what else would it fill in there, uh, but I'm guessing to use it in the shower. <laughs> oh, I can't smell it so good. It seems to be a very, very light scent. Oh, that's an interesting texture. <laughs> what am I rubbing on my hand? It seemed like it was gonna be some type of like maybe in shower lotion when I, it popped out of there, but this, it's interesting on the back of my hand. Is this soap? Ooh, I was really excited for that scent. I do really enjoy almond scented things, but there's something about that that's not my favorite. It's a little bit more sharp than I anticipated it being. I was expecting more of like a warm almondy scent, but I don't know what that texture is. The back of my hand feels weird. <laughs> Maybe it's like an oil or something, because now as I'm like rubbing it in, I mean, my hand, my hand feels real soft. I just don't know if this is soap I'm rubbing on me or not. It has a very, very oily texture to it on the skin. So maybe if you're in the shower and you like rub this on after you're done showering or during your shower, it'd make y'all nice and smooth. It might also make your floor nice and slick. So be careful with that one. Uh, but yeah, I think it's super cute packaging. Alrighty. Ooh, this one's a box inside of a box. This is fun. Oh, it's a perfume. Oh, I had no idea we'd be getting perfumes in here. I'm excited about that. Oh, look at this little itty bitty tiny bottle. That's so precious. It's just so tiny. <laughs> this perfume is of 92% natural origins. I think that's really nice. Oh, I'm so slick. Oh, why do I do that every time? I butter myself up every time. <laughs> We're doing an unboxing like this and then I can't open anything. Oh, that's so slick. I feel like a stick of melted butter. I can't. <laughs> I'm real glad that's supernatural. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, lids on there super good and tight. Good, good job putting that lid on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much of that went into my mouth. Uh, Okie dokie, at least we have it open now. At least it's open now and give it a little, give it a little snip. It's very florally smelling, <laughs> very uh, fresh, light, kind of green smelling. Maybe some citrus or something in there. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of nauseous now. <laughs> okay. Okay, it says a breath of freshness with fragrance of notes of bergamot black tea infused with rose. Okay, yeah, excellent. Excellent. I wouldn't recommend drinking it. It smells like a like a garden party. It smells like a like a garden tea party. If you're outside having tea in a garden with roses, that's what it smells like. You can drink the tea. Don't drink don't drink the perfume. Move it on. Is it nine? I don't, we'll see, nine. Uh, oh, okay, for a little box, we have a decently sized tube here. Next up, we have another moisturizing hand cream. What's so interesting about this, like if you laid out all these products here in front of me, I would have never guessed, with the exception of the little Rocher like thing there, that these all came from the same brand. They're very different packaging. This, is, this one's 99% natural origin. I can just go ahead and squeeze this whole thing in my mouth. Moisturizing hand cream. Oh, this is Manoy. Manoy. We we got something uh, from Sephora. The little gel pods. I think in that same fragrance. I think it's like a tropical kind of flower, maybe. That just smell very florally. Oh, I was having a hard time getting the scent out of that one just from smelling the cap. So put in just a little bit on my wrist there. That has a really different scent than it did just on the cap. Why does it smell like a subtle hint of banana? Like I feel like there's just a little bit of banana in there mixed in with again some florals. Maybe it's like a powdery note to it. But something about that is just it's saying banana to me. Moving along here to date number 10. We have another chunky little tube. Oh I think we have another hair care item as well. So this is a repairing mask with jojoba oil in it. It doesn't say like a scent or anything for this one but it's supposed to be a repairing mask for like the end of your hair I'm assuming. So it just says you just leave on for three minutes and rinse. Ooh, that would be kind of nice. I currently use the Aussie three minute miracle moist deep conditioning detangling thing for like my everyday conditioner, even though it's supposed to be technically a treatment. Uh, but I might give this a try too. Three minutes, that's pretty good. Working fast. Oh my gosh, I'm still so slick. No more opening up with my mouth. Ooh, that has a nice scent to it. Yeah, I feel like that smells like good hair care. Yeah, that, that smells pretty nice. <laughs> Moving on to day number 11. These boxes are just so pretty. I don't know what I would do with 24 little white boxes with other words and stuff on them. <laughs> but I just love like, you know, the floral patterns and stuff on them. Maybe I could cut them up. Sides that don't have any wording and stuff on them, I could cut them up and do something with them. Yeah, well, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Then we're, well, I'll figure something out. Cause that's just too cute. I feel like crafter and hoarder, there, there's there's some there's some crossover there. There's a little bit. <laughs> put a cross over there. I'm like, what can I make with that? I'll cut it up into pieces. I'll put it in my craft room. It'll stay there for a few years and I'll figure it out. Next up here, we have a little thing of micellar water. I'm saving this for my friend Gabby. She's always looking for micellar water, so I'll get her to try this one out. It says it's a two-in-one micellar water. Oh, I guess, and makeup remover. What else do you use micellar water for besides removing makeup? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it'll get the job done. Day number 12 is up next year, halfway through this advent calendar. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, another little bottle of, oh, body lotion. Okay, I thought this might be um, more shower gel. Meadow flower and heather. That sounds so pretty. I don't, I, I don't know what either of those things smell like. I need to like <laughs> expand my, my nostrils. I need, um, <laughs> I need to smell more stuff. I need to smell more stuff and then remember what it smells like so I have an idea of what things are supposed to, you know, what what's this gonna smell like when I sniff it? Okay, I'm sure it probably smells different outside of its little vessel here, but the first note I'm getting is Play-Doh. Like straight up Play-Doh. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> I'm sure that's not what it's supposed to smell like. Can I just get like a, like I don't wanna, let me, oh, I'm just gonna get a little and just, for experimental purposes, because there's no way that just smells like Play-Doh. Or is there? Why does that smell like Play-Doh to me? <laughs> that smells exactly like Play-Doh. <laughs> like Play School. I don't know how else to describe it. Fascinating. <laughs> Very fascinating. I, that's different. Okay. My mom worked as a paraeducator out of school and one time we were cleaning out their teacher's room and we found a, a Play-Doh container from like 1997 and we opened it up and it was this beautiful chunk of crystals. I guess all the salt in there like, you know, grew and crystallized inside this Play-Doh container. Stunning. <laughs> Stunning. 13 is up next here. Oh, another little guy. What are you? Ooh, is this a chapstick? It's a lip balm. Shea and soft almonds. Okay, so I wasn't a 
huge, huge fan of this scent in uh, this little squeezy tube here. So I might not open this one up and just go ahead and see if like my mom will want this or something. But again, the packaging is precious. I love this color. I love the little like, you know, prints that are around it with the almonds and the, I guess the, sh the chaise. So I think the packaging is super, super cute. And I think my mom will also love like how this looks. I'm gonna see if she wants it. All right, I'm coming up next here. We have number 14. Oh, this is shampoo. Gentle shampoo with organic chestnut milk. That's a new one for me. Chestnut milk. I don't, you got the almond milk, you got the oat milk, you got the goat milk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen chestnut milk. Oh, that actually smells pretty good. Oh, I think I like that. There's like a nice warm scent to it. Uh, something almost a little on like the vanilla-y side. It, it smells pretty good. Chestnut milk. That sounds expensive and fancy. That sounds like something that would be at that grocery store, the Air One grocery store. You pay $45 for, you know, a little half gallon of it. Yeah. Moving along here to 15, another squeezy tube. Watch we got. This is an ultra fresh cleansing gel for normal to nor, nor, nor uh, combination skin. <laughs> normal to normal skin. Normal to combination skin. It is sulfate free, 98% natural. It says apply morning and evening on damp face, massage, and then rinse. I think I, I did find where the English um, instructions are on these little packages now. My tongue's a little bit numb still. I couldn't even ingest that much of that perfume, but enough of it for me to really get the flavor and for it to make my tongue numb and for also it to make my stomach upset. I can't wait to eat food after this. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat food. All right, next it looks like we might have another potentially shower gel. Yes, so we have another bath and shower gel. Ooh, spice infusion. I love spicy things. So this might be really nice. When I say spicy things, uh, I don't mean like hot things because I'm a wimp. Cinnamon and nutmeg clove. The, the smell of spice, not necessarily the, the burning of spice. Ooh, that smells like a ginger snap cookie. Mm, I do like that. I, I do really enjoy a nut. Well, you know, this is supposed to be for Christmas. <laughs> we missed the mark by a little bit, but it does have that nice kind of holiday Christmassy feel vibe to it. 17 is right up next to y'all. So we have another version of the Shea and Soft Almond scent. Uh, this time it is a nourishing body lotion. Again, loving the packaging, but unfortunately just for some reason, it just didn't hit like the almond scent I was really hoping for. This one also smells very similar at least from what I can smell from just the little cap there. I just really, I love like this little line of stuff. I think this is super cute. 18, we have another little door here and it sounds like a little guy inside. Oh yeah, look at him, just itty bitty. So we have an anti-wrinkle plumping daycare. This is something that I feel definitely should be um, in a larger size. They could even reduce a couple of maybe the hand creams or something and give a larger version of this. Because if you are trying to see results from a cream, you're definitely gonna need more than this. You're gonna need minimum 30 day supply worth of a cream to really, really see the true results of it. And seven milliliters or 0.23 fluid ounces. I don't think that's gonna last you too long, but uh, that's nice that they also have, you know, stuff for anti-aging and body care, all that kind of stuff. I think it also said it's just natural as well. Yeah, 98% natural, so that's really good. Another little box here. This one feels kind of heavy though. Oh, is this nail polish? Oh, that's fun. I did not anticipate getting nail polish either. This has a lot more, even though it is mainly creams and stuff, it's more variety than I was anticipating. To be fully honest, I definitely didn't think we we're gonna be getting a nail varnish. Looks like a pretty shade too. Oh, you know what? That actually applied really nicely. That's just one coat and I feel like it did a lot of coverage on my nail. I also like this color red. It's like a nice, vibranty red. I think, oh yeah, I think I might paint my toes this today. And my nails too. Nope. No, nope. I about got super distracted and sat there and paint all my fingernails this red shade and then I wouldn't be able to continue on with the unboxing until they dried. I made that mistake too many times. Well, I decided I was gonna paint my nails with this real fast before I filmed my next video and immediately nail polish on the shirt, immediately. Did, didn't even finish, did start my other hand, immediately nail polish on the shirt at all. Ooh, 20 is super heavy. Oh, it looks like we have another shower gel. You think they would all weigh the same in my brain, but I was like, oh, this this has gotta be something super heavy. Oh, interesting, very interesting. This is wild algae and sea fennel. I didn't know there was such a thing as sea fennel. I cannot stand fennel. I can't stand anything that remotely tastes of licorice. Star anise, fennel, 
licorice, none of it. So I'm a little bit afraid this might smell like licorice. Oh no, it doesn't actually. It smells really nice. <laughs> oh, it smells like um, if you're at the TJ Maxx and you're sniffing a bunch of candles, if you come across one that's like beach wave breeze, that's what this smells like, like a beach wave breeze. That smells really good. Very clean. It's almost like there's a bit of that like saltiness in the air in this. Um, yeah, I like that. It smells good. 21, we have another little small guy here. What's it gonna be? Oh, just my little squeeze you. The soothing light cream for sensitive skin. It doesn't really say too much of what it is or what it does. Okay, uh, it says the benefits of organic chamomile for soothe, soft, and supple skin. That sounds really nice. I'm not 100% sure if you're supposed to put it on your face or your body. It doesn't really say, but um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure it's lovely. Really hard to get a sniff out of that tiny little hole there, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it smells good as well. Moving along here today, number 22, getting very close to the end of this calendar. Ugh. I knew, I knew it was coming eventually, right? We can't have all of these scents and not have like just a, a solely rose thing. I'll sniff it for, you know, scientific purposes. This is a Argan and Rose Petals body lotion. And that all looking nice and fancy and rosy. Curious. I don't know if Argan has a, a smell, a very predominant smell, but whatever the top note of that is, it's not rose and I'm I'm good with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> it smells almost like a buttery kind of scent on the top note and I'm really not getting a bunch of rose. If I were to actually like put this on my body and rub it around, I feel like I might get rose then, but we're not gonna do that because you know why. Moving on to day number 23, the final one before the final day. So let's see what's in here. Okay, it looks like we have another shower gel here. I feel like at the beginning there was a bunch of variety between the items and towards the end I feel like we're getting more like little bottles of shower gel lotion that kind of thing whereas before you know that was kind of mixed up with some hair care stuff some skincare stuff but I feel like there's a lot of these now oh but it's in that frozen lychee scent which I think smells really good so we have a little bottle there nice pretty green plastic yeah oh there's something about that frozen lychee it's like berry and sweet but also refreshing mm, I really like that that oh that might be one of my favorite scents <laughs> that smells really really good all right you guys that brings us to the very last day of the year Yves Rocher advent calendar I wanted to say like Yves Saint Laurent or Fourier Rocher so bad Yves Rocher oh day number 24 is actually fairly light I feel like this is supposed to be you know like the fanciest final day because it has this big 24 in bold on the front so let's go ahead and see what's in here Ooh, something very different oh it's a mascara okay so we have a volume mascara I do I prefer a volume mascara over like lengthening or curl. So we did end up with a couple cosmetic-y makeup products in here. So that's nice. A very chunky tube. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a really nice big fluffy wand. Okay, well, kind of. It has the bristles that I prefer, like not the plastic stabby ones, but kind of the more standard bristles. It's just not very fluffy looking. <laughs> that smells... <laughs> That smells very natural. Okay, it's the scent is dissipating. I think it was just that initial like first scent didn't smell great. It smelled a little bit like like the outside, like the ground, like the dirt a little bit. That definitely dissipated when I took it out. So uh, you know, it's a black mascara, maybe not a crazy exciting thing, but since everything we had here pretty much for the most part was like a cream or a shower gel, something like that, mixing it up at the end the very final day with the mascara I think that was a good move all right you guys that was everything for the Yves Rocher advent calendar I think this was fun it reminded me a lot of like the body shop advent calendar that we did I think last year I really liked a lot of the scents I think there's definitely some usable items in here I like that they included a nail polish a lipstick a mascara I feel like this is definitely one that has a lot of usable items in it and I think this would make a really cute gift like I could definitely see me gifting some of these items to my mom or other people or the entire advent calendar Calendar could make for a super cute gift. Again, loving these boxes. I will, I will do something with you. This one's a little bit tough for me because I really don't know, like price point wise, how much Yves Rocher stuff sells their stuff for. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard for me to be like, hmm, I'm not really sure if I see the value. But for a seventy dollar gift, I, I feel like it. I feel like it could be pretty cute. I feel like this definitely could be pretty cute. Some of the items I do wish were a little bit bigger, namely the anti aging or anti wrinkle cream, just because I feel like you definitely need longer to test out a product to see if you're gonna see any type of results uh, to really, you know, for that to be a useful item. But you know, overall, I think I think this was really this was a fun advent calendar. I enjoyed smelling the smells. I didn't so much enjoy drinking the perfume, but <laughs> everything 
else, I think it, it was pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, thank you so incredibly much for spending this my way. That was so way too sweet of you, way too sweet. And uh, just thank you so much. I think that's incredibly kind. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean the world to me and Rin and Tater. They've been snoozing the whole time. And uh, I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.